Okay, we are looking at. Um, three kinds of circuits. So we're on Tinkercad, right? You guys just um, um, look at my drawings here and uh, you imitate them. Okay, simple. Okay, so in series, in parallel, and compound circuits here. Um, okay, no, sorry, I, it's just I'm thinking, uh, how am I going to do this here? Because I don't want to mess that up. Let me do a quick uh, snip of this actually. Better safe than sorry. Four circuits, three resistors. Stop, safe. Okay, so I can mess that up now. Is that saved? Just confirming, yes. Okay, so we'll, we'll assume first that we're using the same three resistors throughout. That's, that's the first thing. <clears throat> So, um, just for sake of demonstration, I'll use a 1K, a 2K, right? So right now it was it was just all the same, and a 4K. Okay, so you see the colors change accordingly, right? So I could go ahead and change them all since we're there. Two. Four. So here, there's various combination for here. Four. Okay. As long as long as you keep them, uh, as long as you don't change them while you start working, right? Okay. So see, it, it goes to yellow. Yellow is four. So it totally makes sense. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is measure some stuff in here. So we're going to pull a multimeter. Look at that. Okay. Um, so ammeters, right? So, well, I guess the first thing we'll do is, is measure volts, right? So you click on it and then it will change the measurement it's doing. Okay, so I'll start the simulation. Can I wire while we're on? That's what I thought. Okay, so uh, I'll go negative to the negative terminal, positive to the positive here. Okay, just makes sense. Start that. Are we any surprise that we read 9 volts? Well, totally makes sense. Right? So stop simulation. And then my next measurement will be each of the resistors. Okay. And so if I go here, what are we expecting to measure? 9 volts, uh, a lower voltage, a higher voltage, that's not possible. And so the rule in series, the voltages add. And so there's a volt drop that will happen to each of them. Right? So because this is my higher resistor, the volt drop is going to be greater. So I'm going to guess that's going to be around 5. Wow. Right? And then as I move my probes to the other side, right? So you record those numbers, okay? So what I want as a NAND product for this is those four circuits drawn by hand, right? Actually, um, I 
should have you guys do uh, the lush uh, circuits. Right. So we'll talk about that later. Um, so now I'm measuring the volts on the second one, right? And so don't worry about the negative here. It just means I flipped my plus minus, so it's totally okay. Um, so if I were to write those numbers down, 257, the other one was 517, if I'm not mistaken, they have to add up to 9 with my last one. So if I move this one here, so now it's probably around one something that I'm missing, right? And so that's the law for uh, volts in series. So, and notice you go in parallel. So that's that's the uh, that's the important thing. So a nanometer, when you're measuring volt, uh, sorry, a voltmeter, when you measure volts, you always go in parallel just you don't cut your circuit open you just connect right there and then wherever you need measuring volts is easy you can't get it wrong there's an easy explanation for that it's because the voltmeters internal resistance is infinite so it's an open which means an open is not dangerous because like right now I'm not catching a shock from the outlet because the air is insulating me from the outlet Right, so that's an open. So playing with an open is it's, it's safe, obviously, by definition. Where it gets tricky is the ammeter. So if I get rid of those two wires, an ammeter, I need to go in series because the internal resistance is zero. So it's like a piece of wire. So I need to cut open my circuit. So on this circuit, I would go here and then reconnect with the new wire here. So that will give me the whole current in my circuit. That's for series. And so obviously it's reading nine volts, but I need to press A, right? So this is my IT. So forget the negative, it makes no difference. Okay, so, so 1.29 milliamps. Okay, so totally works, totally makes sense. To prove that, we could use Ohm's law. We're going to leave it alone for now. Okay, because right now that's not the point. Okay, good to go. Stop that. Rotate. Get rid of this wire. So that was for series. Oh, there's something else we could do, is measure the total resistance, right? So to measure the total resistance, I disconnect my battery, like I said here, and then I just, I just connect to my resistors, right? So it starts, obviously that will show zero, because I, I don't have an energy source right now, so zero, but R should read me the total. Right, so four, two, one, that's right on. Now, obviously this is a perfect, it's a simulator. So obviously our values are going to be perfect. In real life, it doesn't happen. So you would always have a, a percentage of error here. Good to go. Well, that's pretty much it for that. All right. So let's just reconnect that. Not here, here. Okay, in parallel. Okay, so I'll, I'll go over my previous circuit. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit more interesting. Okay, so in okay. So it starts with let's start with these. So VT equals V1 equals V2 equals V3, right? In parallel. So it's really straightforward. Right? So if I start that, I should read 9 volts. On um, volts. So I'm not too sure why it's not showing perfectly. Is that because I did a funny connection? Let me try to fix that. Because I noticed something about my wire. 
should read a perfect nine. Really? I'm not too sure what. Just confirming I'm recording. Everything's working. Everything is working. Okay, so measuring volts is easy. You just go in parallel. Okay, so my wires are crossed, but it's really easy. Okay. So my volts is the same everywhere, right? So if I go, say, here, let's see. So I have to read 9 again. Okay, not too sure why it's not showing perfect 9. Anyway. Okay. So that's easy up to you. Measuring. So now it's my IT versus I1, I2, I3 that will get interesting. So let's actually go back here. So IT, to go for amps, I need to interrupt my whole circuit. So I need to open here, go to say this terminal, and then wire here. Now notice I'm all my current has to go through the ammeter. So if I start that, and I go, okay, that's really strange. Okay, so that's my IT, okay, ammeter, so 15.7 mils, okay, so stop simulation, so now the, the rule is IT equals I1 plus I2 plus I3, because it will branch off to each of the resistors in my parallel circuit, so how are we going to do that, so now, um, yeah, I just realized the way I drew it is going to make it a bit confusing. Is there going to be a way to draw it there? Can I draw a new wire and just stop it here? Yeah, it's been, it's been done. If I hit control, if I hit shift, oh. okay, that's that's unwieldy. It doesn't work well. Okay, so this is the one that's a bit confusing. Okay, for students starting out. Okay, so I'll, I'll have to redraw it that way here. Actually, this doesn't go here. Just had an idea. Okay, so we could put it this way. Notice I'm connecting it to the resistor, right? Straight here, and then just have the rest of the circuit as is, as, as it was. So now I'm going to read I3. Right, so you record all of those measurements, IT, I1, I2, I3. Okay, so that's 224 mils. Easy enough. Now I need to have my 
current going through this resistor. So I'm going to bring my ammeter, make it stick there. Right? It looks like it's working. Right, and now my resistor. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can slide it. Alright. So have a wire go to here. Have another wire go here. So basically this wire is going straight to the two resistors here, right, in behind. But I'm interrupting the flow to R2 here. So this should give me another reading. Perfect. So 449. So you record that for series, uh, for parallel, right? Okay, so that works. Okay, and then you do the same for R1. Right, so bring it here. Slide that guy here. Uh, let's get rid of that wire. Connect, 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 connect here, and then connect here. So now my current going through R1 is getting interrupted, but the rest of the circuit is working as it used to be. Okay, so I should read another reading, which makes sense. So the lower the resistor, the higher the current. It totally makes sense. Okay, so I was reading, I forget the numbers, two here, four, and then nine here. So you take you, you take notes of all of that, and you make a nice chart. If you do it well, you should notice is that your IT will equal I1 uh, plus I2 plus I3. Okay, so series and parallel. So those those should be straightforward. Now, where it gets interesting is in the compounds circuits. So these are the tricky ones, okay? So um, now that I've explained how to do the measurements of current and of voltages for series in parallel I always leave these two as a challenge so I could record myself obviously I know how to do it I hope you believe that but I'm going to let you guys to figure it out so so you use the same techniques okay so remember two things when you read voltages you go in series so what does that look like you take a, a voltmeter and you simply connect to the two sides of a um, of a component, right? So, like this resistor, right? So that's for measuring volts. Oh, I forgot to measure my current or uh, my my resistors earlier. stopped working. Nice. Can I check it in the garbage? No. Okay, that's bizarre. Okay, delete. Okay, that's bizarre. Why is it delete? Okay, why is it being done? Okay, I'll just... Something's jamming. What's going on? This is working. No, not even. Is it? Okay, it's pulling. Okay, it's not even letting me pull it. <gasps> okay, something's frozen. What happened? I didn't like that. Refresh that page. Yeah, there is something, something, something broke there. Okay, so to measure, rotate, 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 rotate. So to measure my 
total R, RT, I go for a parallel in this case, right? I measure my whole uh, circuit this way. And then activate, and then go to R. And, and so now your formula with the inverses will work, right? So the inverse of 4 plus the inverse of 2 plus the inverse of 1 equals the whole thing to the negative 1 that has to give that 571, okay? So I want you to, to do that, basically, for the four circuits. And create for me a nice um, sheet with results. So I need you guys to draw your circuits. You're going to go on Lush Circuits, Lush Projects, sorry. Oh no, that's not the one. My apologies. Um, I was thinking of something else. Oh shoot, what's the name? Mm, I have it on the blog. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it uh, for free. Electrical. Electrical. So there, there it is. That's this one. That's why I did it that way. Digikey. Okay. So, so I want you to use that to get some experience on that. Okay, so try it. You, you can just do a snipping, right? So, oh, search part. So you just draw it using this. Okay, so resistor. Schematic symbols. There you go. Passives. Right? Just take a resistor. Plunk it in here. And then you can copy paste them, you can connect them, right? And then, and then you redraw um, those four circuits that we have here. And then you find a battery. Enough. See that? And just go up. Okay. Done. So that's your first one. Okay. So you do the other ones, and then you uh, copy paste that into your document. Yeah. You're going to have to. I'm going to let you do it. Uh, this one on uh, on the document, uh, the format you prefer, Google Docs or a Word document, whatever floats your boat. Um, so I need you to simply show me the results you got. And the challenge here is to organize your thinking. Okay, so I'm on purpose. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to hide it. Uh, I'm not giving you a worksheet for this. I want you to organize your thinking. Okay, and um, this is a pretty important skill. Okay, so just organize it so that it's clear. Okay, so teacher, I'm doing my series first. Give me the results for all your your V's, for all your I's, and for your RT, right? And then you go to the next one. Uh, schematic of the parallel. Again, all your measurements. And then, and then you go to the next one for the two compounds. Draw them using, using sorry, DigiKey. And then... Uh, and then do a nice uh, set of uh, set of tables with all your results. That's that's all I want. Okay. So there you go. Oh man, with the timing of the song, perfect. All right, we'll see you in class.